Model Mine 72. This is going to be in a special behind the styrene episode of the 1950 Oldsmobile Club Coupe 2 and 1 by Ravel. This is my uh, big Recon tribute build. Um, as some of you know, Big Recon was a, a model builder on YouTube. He had a channel. Uh, and I used to uh, watch his builds and comment and, and uh, on some of his work. One cool thing that I need to put out is, you know, without the Internet, I would have never even known, you know, Big Recon existed or seen any of his work, which goes back to the whole ideal of, you know, it got me to thinking that there's so many builders that we are never even aware of and we never get to see any of their work. But with the Internet access, you know, uh, a builder can put their work on a channel and people from all over the country can see your work. So it's very important for your art to be seen no matter how you get it out. Okay, uh, one thing as an as an artist is uh, I, I strive to uh, spread the word that you know get your art out regardless of, of how what medium you use. And um, this this car right here was is was a very very special build for me, and um, I enjoyed it so much. The name of this card is called Pride, by the way. And uh, we're just going to go over the, some of the aspects of the build. And uh, hopefully, we can inspire some other artists out there to bring their work To the internet maybe start a channel of their own all right let's start um, let's start with this finish all right this finish is uh, three coats of a uh, rustic mist is the name of the color just beautiful gorgeous gorgeous color and it's wet sanded between each coat and then we have uh, three coats very thin coats of clear You know, this car, if you've been following this build, this car originally was a, uh, when I first started building it, it was a totally different color. I had a totally different theme going on with it. Found out about Big Recon's um, passing and then um, dedicated this build from that day forward as a tribute build to him. And uh, changed the color and, you know, changed uh, the theme. And basically, fundamentally, from that moment forward, things, you know, fell into place. Been working on this build for, for a while. Y'all know how I build. I let my builds grow org organically. And just let them come to fruitation as, as they come. But um, stance, we've got, you know, Model Mile 72 dragging the ground, basically. Um, scratch built front suspension, scratch built rear suspension, fully custom fabricated. Um, so it, so it can set exactly the way I want it to set. These wheels are actually scratch built wheels. One video I put out there on this build, it's in the archives if you go back and find it, kind of shows me uh, actually 
assembling and fabricating these uh, custom scratch built rim wheel setup. I think they totally set the car off. Uh, they're definitely a one-off, one-of-a-kind rim set. You know, it's all about being unique with this with this build. Just you know, being being an artist, trying to um, re relate my uh, vision as it as it comes as it comes to me. One one challenge that I gave myself on this build was to do some some trick hinges. I wanted to do some trick hinges on this build. So um, I really challenged myself on, on this particular uh, build, and um, we'll start with, we'll start with the hood here. You know, basically everybody has their, their hood opens up from the front to the back. Well, this one right here is a opens from the back to the front. Like so. Which in some circles is, is called like a piano hood. This this particular uh trick setup I got is a special hinge. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a floating horseshoe hinge is what I call it. The reason I say it's a floating horseshoe hinge is because it's in the shape of a horseshoe and it actually the the hood floats because it not only opens like this but it also you can do this. So it's kind of like that. You know you can have it like floating. Like it's levitating or whatever you want to call it. So if I can get a shot of it. The rear trunk, we did uh, a trick hinge on it to basically, fundamentally, trunks open from, you know, front to back. This one right here actually has got a trick hinge on it as well. And it's the same as the, it's the same as the, uh, the front. It's a floating, this is actually a floating C hinge, is what I call it. It's a floating C hinge. But basically, if you look at it, it looks like the uh, the trunk's floating. Trying to bring, you know, magic. The allure, the, the illusion of magic in the build. The trunk right now is, uh, you know, just just clean. I got this this pride trophy right here that that I am gonna, you know, keep in the back for now. I might add some other things in the back, but for right now, it's just um, it's just that trophy. There's some six by nines in the uh, rear deck tray right there, if you can see through the the window. Really trick set up here. Yeah, so you can see how the front hood floats. 
Again, that's a, a horseshoe floating hinge, trick hinge. The engineering in these hinges on this car was one of the areas that I wanted to challenge myself in. As I said, and I, I think I, I think I did, I think I did it justice. You know. Of course, the doors do open. Um, I was gonna go with some some of my other trick hinges that I've put on some of my other builds, but this one right here it called for a special trick hinge setup. So, as far as the engineering department was concerned, you know, I I told myself do something that you've never done before. You know, break new ground, step your game up inspire so this is what i came up with guys you know i like to think big Recon's looking down from heaven and checking this ride out and brother i gave it wings i put some gold wing hinges on this build to give it wings to fly up to heaven so Big Regan can drive it. <laughs> and um, like I say, I went all out as far as the hinges go on this particular car just because um, I think that it's, uh, I think it deserved that. It's one of those builds. So uh, let's get to the engine here. This, this block is uh, the block that comes out of the 1966 Pro Street um, Nova AMT kit. That was the basis for the engine. You know, different does I had a, a few different engines that I was going to go, but for some reason I ended up going with that one. And, um, I you know, it turned out really, really good uh, as far as the whole setup on the the blower and everything it was more of a, a visual i was going more for a visual appeal of this engine so as aesthetically pleasing to to the eye and pleasing to the build so um that was basically what i was going for with um, the engine you know we got uh electrical tape for the belt we got the brass pulleys uh chrome fan um, we got uh, blue spark plug wires um, color-coded engine valve covers and um, headers and also on the induction there we got um, the block was painted with a model master color um, it's, it's uh, some, some some kind of sunrise, something sunrise. It was the same uh, color I used on a '55 Ford build. If you go if if you go back to look at that '55 Ford Divine Sunrise build, that was the same block. Except there's no clear on this particular. That was like a two-part system setup paint job. But I just left this one uh, with just the paint and no no clear on the block. The firewall is a scratch-built mirror firewall. On the interior, we went with a... Uh, um, it's called light mocha is uh the color on the the seats the dash um even the wheels the accents in the wheels on the disc on the disc brakes and the accents on the engine uh under the hood the trunk all that is uh the light mocha acrylic paint
the the interior is a cloth interior and I, I, I decided to go with a, a cashmere so it's a cashmere cloth interior with light mocha accents actually that um, that steering wheel is uh, post is um, nail polish it's actually nail polish on there there's a couple of nail polish accents around on the dash and engine and uh, under the chassis and stuff like that too the uh, steering wheel is actually a chrome steering wheel a chrome chain steering wheel and uh, the gear shift is a, a stick pin scratch built um, console I believe that chrome console actually came out of the 66 uh, Pro Street Nova as well, if I can remember correctly. Um, the speaker setup, I don't know if you can see back there or not, but there's a speaker setup. I actually printed um, printed that speaker box out of the, re the decal sheet of the 67 um, and pow uh, what was that, the 67 Chevelle. And uh, cut it out and, and glued it in with white glue and the six by nines too, both of those. Um, let's see. Like I say, we got the gold wing, gold wing doors. Just wonderful, wonderful build, guys. I, I enjoyed this build thoroughly. And I hope all, everybody enjoys it as much as I did. Bringing it to the channel is just uh, it's just an, an amazing piece of artwork, you know. Um, I love this body style. I love the curves. I love the lines. I've been trying to get the, the 54 Chevy kit so I could do something similar with it. But this particular car lends itself to some of those ideals. So...